Navigation is one of the hardest parts of Swift UI development, and of course it takes a lot of space in your iOS apps. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to do this with a simple library called Swift UI Navigation. So if you're interested, go ahead, I dare you, hit the subscribe button. And now let's open up Xcode and let's dive in. If you have taken a look at my YouTube channel, you already know that I'm obsessed with navigation in iOS and of course in Swift UI. There are tons of tutorials on how to navigate in UIKit, of course, uh, in the past few years and in the recent months on Swift UI. There are, just take a look at my channel, there's a lot on navigation. And now I'm happy to present Swift UI navigation, the most simplest way to navigate in Swift UI. You can check it out on my channel, uh, well, on my site, store.rebeloper.com slash Swift UI navigation. So if you just go to store.rebeloper.com, you will find all of my products there. And this is the latest one, Swift UI navigation, smart and simple navigation. So if you have taken a look at navigation in Swift UI, you already know that it's really hard to kind of combine navigation link with sheet and full screen cover. Uh, one is a view, the other one is a view modifier. Of course, view modifier modifiers are also views, but uh, writing them and using them, it's a pain. So what I have created is Swift UI navigation. You just drag and drop some files into your project and you are done. So let's just jump right into the example code and let's see what navigation, a uh, Swift UI navigation can give you. So this is the demo project that I have created so you can learn everything you need to know about Swift UI navigation. So uh, first of all, we have um, Swift UI navigation app. This is the content view and this is our content view. I have here some pre-made stuff. Uh, it's, it's nothing too fancy. We will cover everything. Then we have our content view model, just in case you want to present navigation, not on the tap of a button, like a user interaction rather than a data change. And then we have the detail view. This is a simple detail view with a button that will dismiss with the presentation mode. In Swift UI 3, this will be this, uh, this miss uh, environment, but it's the same thing. It's just this missing. Okay. So uh, if you take a look at the link in the description, you will uh, be able to purchase uh, Swift UI navigation. So once you do that, go ahead and um, uh, you want to drag and drop it into your project. So here is our resources and navigation. Okay. So let me just drag and drop it right over here and click on finish. And basically that's it. There are three files here that you want to do. It's, it's pretty simple down to the bare minimum that we can and it is highly flexible. This is what I truly like about it. So first thing first, uh, because we are going to have a navigation stack, we do need a navigation view. So let's go into our Swift UI navigation app and right over here, let's just add a navigation view and add our content view into the navigation view. Now, if you are going to use only sheets or uh, uh, full screen covers, you don't even need the navigation view. So that's one thing here. And then, uh, uh, as you already saw in the description of Swift UI navigation on my site, there are only two steps, two lines of code that you need to add in order to set up uh, Swift, UI, uh, Swift UI navigation. So the first one is to create a navigation. And I'm just going to add it right over here. And uh, let's just have a private um, a state object. So add state object. There we go. Private var navigation. And this is navigation. Navigation. And basically, that's our first step. The second step is to add uh, the uh, that we are using navigation at the root of our body, meaning in this case, the VStack uses 
navigation uh, with a small n right over there. And that's it. You are all set up. How easy was that? Make sure that you are always initializing a new state object and then add uses that navigation on the root, in this case, the vstack. And basically, that's it. These are the two lines of code that you need. Now, let's use it. And uh, right over here on the button, we have a present detail view. Now, uh, I do have this function clearly laid out as a Swift UI the programmer should do in a separate function. Uh, so let's use this. And we just go navigation dot, and there's only one function here, present. And it either has an on dismiss or without. So let's just use the one with on dismiss. We have a present, and the type of navigation could be full screen cover, page, which is the stack navigation. We just pushing the views and then a sheet. So let's just go with the page first. And then the destination would be the detail view. Okay. And uh, on this miss, let's just print out maybe uh, detail view dismissed. So there we go. Dismissed. Okay. So basically that's it. That is how simple it is. So let's just run this on the simulator so you can see how this looks like. And uh, uh, just so you know, this page can be uh, changed to sheet easily. I will show you just a second. So this loads. And um, yeah, you can just use on dismiss or without. Really, really nice. Let's just tap, tap on dismiss here. And uh, detail view dismissed was uh, printed out. now. Notice that if we are using this page type, if we would navigate away again, then that page would be kind of page, that view would be dismissed again. So this print would be printed out. So make sure that you do know that it's just going, whenever that is dismissed, that view, this is going to, it's not just coming back, it's also for moving forward. Okay, let me just show you how easy it is to make this uh, sheet. And basically that's it. So let's just go, let's just present the detail view and here is our dismiss. Let's just tap on dismiss right over here. And of course, full screen cover, really, really nice. Now think of it, how hard it is to do this in pure Swift UI, navigation link, dot sheet and dot, um, full screen cover. And basically that's it. Uh, this is how you can simply navigate at the push of button. But usually you don't really navigate only when a user interaction occurred. You sometimes want to navigate away. For example, when, uh, let's say we just want to have this on appeared after two seconds, maybe you are fetching some data. So, um, we want to go and go is detail view presented dot toggle right over here. So toggle. So what do we add here is detail view presented and toggle after two seconds? Well, because we do have here an on change. You know, this is detail view presented is a state variable. So whenever this changes, we want to present our detail view. So we are looking for changes on the is detail view. And if it, this is true, we just go with present detail view. How awesome is that? Now the same goes if we do have this published variable is detail view presented inside our view model. As you can see, this is our published variable in the content view model. We are just going to listen for the received published. So value whenever this is to just present detail view. So let's just check this out. First of all, uh, for the state variable, as you can see it right over here. Let's just wait. I'm not doing anything. And there we go. We just presented the full screen cover. And now let's just uncomment this and just go view model. Of course, make sure that you do have your view model added right over there. View model dot is detail view presented and just toggle that. Let's just build and run again. Again, no hands, as you can see, one, two, and there we go. 
really really nice and that concludes everything because now you can have an action prior the uh, presentation of any type of page sheet or full screen cover and of course you can do it on a user interaction so yeah that's it go ahead and check it out on uh, my site right over here it's at store.rebeloper.com swift ui navigation go ahead and check it out it's really really nice Take a look at the nice contents right over here. And um, yeah, hopefully I will see you working with SwiftUI navigation in your SwiftUI projects. Navigation in SwiftUI couldn't be easier, right? So if you did like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Maybe one of your developer friends will notice and use SwiftUI navigation as well as you will in your SwiftUI apps. So while you are at it, make sure to hit that notification bell to get notified of these new videos. They are all about SwiftUI, Swift in general. And as usual, I will see you in the next one.